We do have some breaking news overnight. Several people were injured after this massive stampede broke out at the vigil for the rapper Nipsey Hussle in California. Police uh, now have identified the suspect that they are looking for, and CNN has obtained security camera video that captures the actual moment of the murder. CNN's Nick Watt is live in Los Angeles with all of the bre breaking details. What have you learned this morning, Nick? Well, Alison, as you just mentioned, the morning turned to violence overnight. And the latest we've heard from the LAPD is they say that detectives have worked tirelessly and are now seeking the public's help in tracking down that suspect. And just a warning, some video in this report is graphic. Los Angeles police now identifying a suspect in the killing of Nipsey Hussle. 29-year-old Eric Holder is wanted in connection with the rapper's murder. Security camera video just obtained by CNN shows the suspect walking up to Hustle and two other men as they stood outside the rapper's store, firing at them multiple times before running to a nearby alley and fleeing in a car driven by an unidentified female. The Los Angeles Times, citing law enforcement sources, reports the gunman and Hustle got into a fight before the shooting. The medical examiner says that Hustle died within an hour from gunshot wounds to his head and torso. I've never been like all the all over somebody like this, like a rapper, you know what I mean? And it was more, he was more than just a rapper. The beloved rapper's community heartbroken in the wake of his death. He is someone who put our community on the map. Um, people thought that our community was just about violence. Um, and Nipsey put a change to that. He was willing to partner to bring things to this community that we are now going to lose. A massive crowd of fans gathering throughout the day to honor Hustle. Then chaos erupted Monday night. <laughs> Hundreds of mourners scattering across the parking lot where Hustle was killed after police say a disturbance incited panic. Aerial footage captures the crowd fleeing in all directions, shoes and smashed candles left behind, at least 19 injured in the stampede. One person was critically wounded after being hit by a car. Absolutely chaotic, mass panic. Mourners carrying the injured as firefighters treated people at the scene. Police dressed in riot gear rushing in trying to disperse the crowd and breaking up fights that broke out amid the confusion. Now, no further detail from the LAPD on a possible motive here, but Nipsey Hussle's Facebook page suggests that he was a member of the Rolling Sixties street gang, and just a half hour before he was shot, Nipsey Hussle tweeted this. He tweeted, having strong enemies is... A blessing. Joining us now to talk about his legacy and also much more, Van Jones, CNN political commentator and host of the Van Jones Show. Van, this was a loss. Uh, you wrote a tremendous loss for humanity. You say awful. This brother was just getting started. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we just don't have leaders like that to lose. I mean, a lot of people outside the community may not know who this young guy is, but um, he's somebody who has really leveraged his uh, position in the community to start businesses. He was promoting this sort of a uh, gospel of kind of ownership and entrepreneurship and not in this sort of bling bling, I'm going to like be the best rapper and buy a yacht, but literally starting businesses in the community, hiring artists, hiring people from the community um, and, and having this kind of social uplift gospel, you know, tough, edgy, but really about something positive. He's really, he was doing all the things you say, why don't some of these young rappers take their money invested in the hood? That's what he was doing. Why don't some of these young rappers, you know, take their position and use it to promote something positive? That's what he was doing. And so to have him, you know, gunned down, and in fact, it's so crazy, he was literally about to organize a whole summit around, uh, with Rock Nation, we're both represented by Rock Nation, uh, Jay-Z's um, um, organization. He was about to organize a summit uh, for peace on the streets. So this guy was literally uh, uh, unbelievably, uh, uh, it's, it, you can't even describe the loss. And it's so uh, um, uh, discouraging. Uh, when you have someone like him rise, uh, you know, he, he made it a few years longer than Tupac did, uh, but he, he, he doesn't make it either. And I mean, what, 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 what are, you, are you supposed to leave the hood? Are you supposed to stay in the hood? Uh, what are you supposed to do? This guy put it all on the line and he lost it all. And it's just, it's, it's an unbelievable tragedy. You bring up Tupac. When I first heard about Nipsey's murder, I thought, I imagined it was a drive-by. But when you see that video, that's an assassination. I mean, yeah. that's somebody walking right up to him who knows ex uh, exactly who he is and shoots him at 
close in close range. So he even alluded to the fact that he had enemies. Yeah, I mean, there's there is. It's unfortunate just in life. All of us, you know, you have your 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 rivals, you have your allies, you have your competitors, you have your enemies. Um, uh, unfortunately, in this situation, this, these things can turn deadly very very quickly. I just want to say, you know, to anybody who is is watching this. I think the most important thing we can do in terms of caring for it, his legacy, one of the things he was trying to do was bridge the gap between technology and hip hop culture. He pointed out over and over again that, you know, it's, it's great to be an athlete, it's great to be an entertainer, but, you know, the technologists are the ones who are really going to uh, forge the future. And so he had a whole program going about that um, in, in terms of getting young people. You know, in some ways, hip hop and computer coding are the same thing. You're making something out of nothing. Mm. You know, you're, you know, you're, ta you're taking uh, you know, a beat and a sample and turning it into some, a, a piece of art. Uh, you know, coding is very similar. He, I mean, it, he was so far ahead of his time in terms of what he was trying to accomplish at such a young age, and he was having real success. He had formed relationships and partnerships with key, key business leaders, major business leaders uh, in the LA area. I mean, it was literally all set up for him to do something just incredibly extraordinary, and I just, I just can't, it's just, it's impossible to put words to, you know, what it means to lose somebody like this because he had already beaten so many odds and he was literally on the verge of having a whole different model. Um, you know, I don't know. It, it's, 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 I don't know. It's deflating. I mean, it's just yeah. flat out deflating. And I wish I had something positive to say. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you always try to have, you know, on a positive note, uh, he, he set a model. Uh, if other young people want to do good by the hood, um, study him. Mm -hmm. Go on YouTube. Listen to his interviews. Don't, don't, just, not just his music. His interviews are unbelievable. And, um, and, and he laid out a pathway for himself that others, I hope, will follow.